Hey, check one, check two. How do you do? My name is Ronnie Dean Harris, aka Oz12. The ancestors know me as Malithuk. My families come from Stalo, Stadlium, and Inklakapmuk territories, and more locally to where I am here at Chichilis, where the Brunette River enters into the Fraser River. My family is connected to Coquitlam, from the Coquitlam family at the Coquitlam River. And so today I'll be talking to you about the story of Shwayam or Shwayamath here at what is now known as New Westminster. So thank you for joining me. Now, there's a whole bunch of uh, different place names and sacred sites that can be located here in the New West area. But today, I'm going to focus on Shwayam, which is a story uh, connected to the Transformers. And so for those of you uh, new to the idea of the Transformers, or Chals, or Chechals, the Transformers, um, the Transformers uh, were a group of beings that traveled this area during a time creating many changes. And so during these times, um, there were transformations like people who were turned into stone or turned into various animals or landmarks. And so many of these landmarks can be marked all over the lower mainland as this path of the transformers in which they took and so um uh, i often look out of my um back porch here and i imagine uh this path of the transformers and what what that might have looked like and so um where we pick up the transformers story and i really do hope you look into the story of the transformers yourself um of Chaos, Chaos, the transformers um it's an epic story uh, which needs uh, much exploration by us all. So in the words of old Pierre, Shwayam stood waiting to kill Chechals as he had killed other strangers before him. And so uh, this information that I first interacted with came from um, the Katsi ethnographic notes by Wayne Suttles. And so this came from old Pierre who told the story and so we drop into it here. Chals and his party then proceeded to Musqueam at the entrance to the north arm of the Fraser, but what he did there I have forgotten. Ascending the river, they approached New Westminster, where a warrior named Shwayam, or the killer, stood waiting to kill Chals as he had killed other strangers before him. Chals knew his intentions, however, and raising his right hand, changed the man into a rock, which white engineers buried not long ago when they constructed the approach to the New Westminster Bridge. Okay, so the New Westminster Bridge that's spoken of is the Patella Bridge. And so uh, the Patella Bridge was created in the 1930s. And so when they created the approach, the original stone or boulder uh, was buried. Um, I have yet to uncover any photos or information about the original state of this boulder when it was found before it was uh, buried for the approach. But um, at some point, a new approach was built and now there's uh, two boulders laying in front of the Patella Bridge, which I will show folders, uh, photos and videos of here. And so um, my work in the last couple of years has been to try to bring some um, awareness and acknowledgement to this landmark here, but also to trace the history of the, the construction of this area. And so um, in the early 1900s, it was called uh, Leopold Place. Um, now it's called Albert Crescent Park, but um, I really want to let people know and i hope that with some of the links to some of the research that people can further dig um to build um some more recognition for this sacred site of shwayamath um an important story in our coast salish cosmology here but also in a connection to uh, many of the surrounding nations um this tale of these transformers that traveled through this area and created much change and uh through the words of our uncle sonny mccalsey nachlahatsi um he speaks of a concept of how those values and principles 
um, of those times that were encoded into these landmarks are a huge part and basis of our own traditional law. And so uh, when I think of things like Shlamath and the stories that are connected to it, I think of those laws and that importance and also the survivance of our stories and cosmology. And so uh, Shlamath is a, a, a something, a someone, um, that I think of a lot and I hope that we can begin to raise up the profile uh, of this name and make sure that this site is protected uh, going forward. Uh, so I thank you for listening to me here and uh, Aichika.